thanks, moderator. Um, and thanks for the interest in the Ruskin story. Um, I just uh, took over from Greg a month ago as president and CEO, and I uh, would be walking through what excited me to join the company at this stage. Um, so this is clearly testing our speed reading skills, and uh, we'll probably jump right into uh, the rationale why I find Ruskin very exciting. So it's a high, shallow, high grade shallow discovery in Mali. And what we've done so far on our flagship uh, discovery is identify the seven kilometer mineralized corridor. Uh, maximum depth of drilling 70 meters right now. And it warrants deep drilling. And I'll explain as we go further along in the presentation. But our greatest success has been to the southern part of that tenement in Mankoki and we've successfully added more ground to the south, and that's where we have our drills turning, and um, we're excited by the widths and grades that are being encountered in that zone currently. Um, that it goes that where to find gold is definitely within the shadows of head frames, and uh, where we locate it, which is about 600 kilometers southwest of the hotspots in Mali, has proven very successful, over 50 million ounces delineated and produced in the camp, and we've got about seven operating mines within 80 kilometers radius of our tenements. So we think we are clearly in the right address, and the development there also gives us the ability to leverage on the infrastructure when successful to get ourselves into the producer status. Uh, funding is critical for juniors, and I can say we're happy that we embarked on a funding exercise in November last year. It got well oversubscribed, and we have about four million in the bank to start our campaign initially at 10,000 meters for this year. Um, and I think there's a case to be made for accelerating results dependent. Um, there's been further transformations in the company. Um, all the tenements package is, was put together by Greg Eisner, the founder, through his local contacts. It attracted me on board, and it also attracted some other senior mining executives like Sam Jonah that's been able to grow junior companies into significant multi-million market cap entities. And I think that's the trajectory we see following as well for Ruskin going forward. Um, corporate social responsibility, a strong emphasis for us. And you see of the second slide, our maiden visit with our new chairman. We definitely made the effort to reach out to the mayor of the town, promised them our meadows might, despite the fact that we are exploration company and most of the results should go to the ground. We would be contributing what we can to bring the communities along with us so that the licenses are, uh, the social licenses are held in good standing. And although we belong to the safer part of Mali, we still take security quite seriously. And we have uh, an ex French military intelligence making sure that our experts and local staffs are well protected as we go along. Um, this is just a, t a picture that shows some of the players in the camp. Um, the average, uh, I mean, sorry, the minimum size of uh, producing assets in resource, about two million, ranging as big as uh, 20 million in certain instances, and we just plugged in between. So it gives us confidence that a lot of the anomalies that we've picked up would eventually show something good, and we are stepping up our regional campaign to be able to deliver to the market on that regard. Um, our Flagship, oops, sorry. Sorry about that. So, our flagship asset is a Mankuki uh, central part. That's where we've sort of gotten the discovery going. And um, beyond that, we've identified about eight other priority targets that we hope to be advancing work on in due course. The goal is this highlights the discovery potential on our land package. And you all know that the discovery phase is the exciting phase in the mining equity cycle that presents outsized returns to investors. So we got a few targets out there that could bring some interesting results and would ask uh, investors 
business just to stay tuned as we deliver on our, pro I mean, our work and program going forward. Uh, this is what we've done to identify those targets. It's a combination of termite mount sampling, AC drilling, some ground geophysics. So they just not stuff that we picked out of the sky, but there's some preliminary work that's been done that gives us confidence that as we drill these, there's probably a high probability of success on them. Um, this is our priority target, and that's where our drill is standing right now. This is an 80 meter wide high grade mineralization right at surface. It's rare to see these things just show up and just get truncated at depth. So that's where we have our diamond drill tanning, and we go in quite deep. And we, uh, I mean, we're very hopeful to come back to the market in a few weeks to tell you guys what we see in here. But um, the goal is to not only test the down dip extension of the section, where it's averaged about four and a half grams on surface, but also to see how wide it goes from south to north. And um, we have the drill standing right now. Um, this emphasizes our regional targets. And there are certain zones that are quite prospective, even closer to some of the producing mines that are doing about 600,000 ounces a year here. Uh, that's Fecola. And these are all zones that we will be drill testing in due course this year. And we have drill parts being prepared as we speak. A summary of what has been done to date, uh, mostly air core drilling 28,000 meters. Um, it's a heavy weathered profile, mostly saprolite. Understanding the geology requires more diamond. It's about 2,000 meters done to date, but we would be increasing the diamond component going forward in lieu of getting a better understanding to help improve our targeting in the uh, property tenement package. Um, this is a section in our central Mankuki area where the deepest intersection came in at 8.6 grams over 10. Um, basically, we hit the pressure still at depth. It wasn't as highly mineralized. But if you look to some of the analog deposits in the region, you notice that the red line shows the level of depth of dr uh, drilling that we have compared to uh, other analogs like Anaconda and Fecola. And the point we're making here is in the top profiles where you have heavy weathering, there's a lot of discontinuity and it requires deeper drilling, which is something we'll be doing. But to be sure that we just not throw in uh, dollars away. We've initiated an IP uh, program. It's about complete interpretation is going to guide our drilling going forward. And we think there's definitely good potential at depth because it's the same mineralized corridors that runs from some of our peers up north like Oklo coming up with some really spectacular results that run through our tenements down to the south into Cerebi. Um, the corporate structure, I have 167 million shares out right now. And um, I mean, we get a bit of a pushback of too many warrants out there, about 97 uh, uh, million. But I'll highlight that that's also going to be very useful sources of funding. 33 million of that is due in July and brings an additional 4 million bucks into Treasury. Average exercise price of all these is about 16 and a half, and that could generate an additional 15 million to fund our exploration campaign going forward. And we're proud of the suite of investors we have on our register right now. So to wrap up, I think this early discovery stage where we have uh, the potential to generate oversized returns, it's actually in the right hand and grounds, 50 million ounces delineated produced. Our success definitely is going to prick interest from our neighbors, build up M&A premium, and we've got a team that has delivered in the past and definitely are poised to take Roscan to the next level. Thanks for your attention.